continuous series of plates that over time shift and cause earthquakes. And joining us now, Professor of Physics, Michio Kaku. Professor Kaku, thanks for joining us this morning. Glad so, to be here. So we're talking about three major earthquakes in a short period of time. Does one trigger another? The short answer is no. Okay. It turns out that these plates move pretty much independently of the other along the ring of fire. However, neighboring plates can in fact link up, like the Cascadia Fault off Seattle can actually trigger earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault. So we're not totally out of the woods. All right. Um, is there any sort of pattern here that we can detect? Uh, the short answer again is no. no. Okay. However, this is a dress rehearsal for the big one. There is a time bomb, a time bomb in the west coast of the United States. So it's not a matter of if, it's a, it's a question of when the Cascadia Fault off the coast of Seattle or the San Andreas Fault in California could be set off, causing perhaps billions of dollars in property damage. So you're talking about the U.S. and it is vulnerable right now. I mean, we've seen these massive earthquakes over the last decade, but the U.S. is vulnerable right now. Um, over a span of decades, we do expect the big one to hit. For example, the San Francisco earthquake of 1906 was a 7.8 earthquake. That's the same type of earthquake that devastated Ecuador just the other day, a 7.8. So in some sense, this is a, a dress rehearsal of what could happen in our own backyard. We have to be prepared. All right, Professor Kaku, you're a professor of physics. Thanks for breaking it down. I know we wish we had a little bit more time with you, but thanks for, for joining us. And our thoughts and prayers go out to all those families struggling in Ecuador and Japan this morning.